G'day guys, welcome back to another Scooby-Doo review on the channel, the first of 2024, exciting times, uh, it's almost March now, but it's uh, my first review of 2024, today I'll be reviewing the Snow Creature Like Snow Creature, and uh, yeah, let's jump straight into it. here. Looks like last run of the night. Who's in? Gretchen? More tedious bravado from the great Olympian Chris Klug. Whatever. Later, poser. So, uh, yeah, first What's New Scooby-Doo uh, review on the channel, uh, Season 1, Episode 1. Uh, this one was quite an interesting one, and, um, yeah, it was an interesting way and a brave way, I want to say, uh, from the Scooby creators and the What's New Scooby-Doo creators to start off the series. Um you know, uh, definitely not the first uh, What's New Scooby-Doo episode uh, I ever saw. Um, I had probably seen a good 15 to 20 odd before this one, and uh, I guess that's kind of why I'm probably going to give it such a low ranking compared to most. I'm going to give it an, an 8 out of 10. This one felt a little bit more boring and not as exciting as some of the other episodes, I want to say, and uh, I guess that's what happens when you watch it, like maybe... Oh, well, this was like the uh, the mid twenty, so I want to say maybe episode I ever saw from What's New Scooby Doo. Um, so seeming I've already seen like more than half of the show before watching the first ever episode. You know, I feel like they had a lot more um, freedom in season two and three, and that's what makes uh, those uh, seasons so special. Um, and this series is so special because you know all the characters um, all have their individual um you know talents and um interests um it's quite funny um quite comedic um and the monsters are always cool i find and uh this one was no different uh the snow creature um was the villain for this one and he was really really cool um he had some nice moments um some nice scary moments as well as uh i'll sh i'll show you here chance it's just a terrifying monster suit with some creep inside there's only one thing missing from your theory fred what like the creep inside <laughs> yeah yeah it was uh an amazing scene um always scares uh always scared me like you know um and scared people um that i know of um as a kid you know um when uh shaggy you know just says oh you know there's no one inside it you know it's an actual creature um, and those, uh, you know, creepy looking red eyes, you know, and just absolutely superb. Um, another great thing about watching new Scooby-Doo is, uh, you get so many different characters, um, and, you know, so many different suspects and most of them, I want to say, uh, majority of the time are memorable. Um, and, uh, yeah, that, that, that's kind of no exception, uh, for, for this, uh, episode as well. And yeah, I guess, um... I really enjoyed uh, the uh, mystery as well. Um, it was fairly entertaining. You know, a little bit of a refresh from Scooby-Doo and Guess Who, I feel. Um, 
and uh, yeah, it, it was really, really enjoyable uh, watching this mystery. Um, but there's always, you know, episodes I feel uh, where in what's new Scooby Doo that are just. They just don't feel the same compared to others, and uh, especially the early ones in season one, I feel like they just had, like, a plan, and they stuck to the plan for the first, like, first, uh, let's just say first season, Um, and then in the second and third season, like, they really got to play around with it all and all that, yeah, it was really, really good, Um, but yeah, this is definitely one of the better ones, I want to say, in uh, season uh, one. Um, obviously the gang, it's in the snow, um, and, uh, you know, there's a snow creature going around, attacking people, injuring people, and quite early on, you know, they meet this mysterious guy, they call him the Mystery Sneak, uh, he was really, really cool, um, and the way he, you know, like, he moved around as well, it looked like he was, like, an, a, an injured person, you know, which, um, is like yeah, it makes um a few of the uh, injured people uh, suspects as well. Um, I'll I'll see if I can go through all the characters because there were so many. I want to try and remember them all. Uh, Avalanche Anderson uh, is one of the snowboarders. Um, you got Chris, who was the guy who got attacked in the opening scene, um, which I showed earlier. Uh, you got um. Miss Chang is like that reporter. She appears in maybe like a couple other What's New episodes as well. Um, you got the millionaire. You got Theodore, who's like some creepy guy um, who got pissed off at Fred for breaking his leg. Um, there was, uh, I mean, there was a, a couple other um, ca- characters as well. Um, there was like that. That, that, that female snowboarder didn't quite catch her name. Um, I, I think that's it, I want to say. That's most of them that I can remember. There was like, you know, there was a, uh, a fan at one point getting an autograph um, that I can remember. And uh, there was, you know, a doctor for Fred who got injured quite early on in the episode. And, um, yeah, there's, I guess also there's so much to cover in a watch new at um, episode that I'm trying to, you know, um, uh, pick out all the specific points, um, and, uh, yeah, I thought I'd, uh, touch quickly, um, on the appearances of the gang, obviously they're in their winter outfits for what's new Scooby-Doo, um, we hadn't actually seen their, you know, proper looks except for the intro, um, which is an absolutely amazing intro, and then the outro as well, which was really, really good. I quickly wanted to mention those, you know, because, you know, I only mentioned them in this episode because it's the first episode of What's New Scooby-Doo. And, um, yeah, the gang's appearances are absolutely amazing in What's New Scooby-Doo. Um, I really like Fred's, um, and he's such a funny and goofy guy in What's New Scooby-Doo as well. And then you got Daphne, who you can, like, pick her way into, like, locks and all that, and, uh, you know, she's into fashion a lot in this one, and uh, she's actually quite intelligent uh, compared to some of the other Daphnes that we'd seen, you know, all the danger-prone Daphnes and all that. Shaggy and Scooby, you know, y- y- you get your normal Shaggy and Scooby. Really, really love them in this show, especially Shaggy. He was absolutely amazing, as you would expect in this one. Like, he said a few things funny about Velma and her, like, outfit um because she didn't want to catch a cold but she ended up catching a cold and um there was a bit of a twist at the end that i'll uh talk about a little bit later with her cold um and uh yeah i guess i find velma a bit annoying i mean out of all the mindy uh cohan velmas i guess what's news is probably the most annoying but she had some really good moments i want to say in this show and i've got to respect that you know i'm always a little bit you know harsh on Velma, um, especially Kate Micucci as Velma, I really don't like her, um, and, uh, yeah, look, um, she wasn't, um, amazing in this show, that's to say, but, uh, so, there's a really, uh, cool part of watching Scooby-Doo as well, um, that I obviously had to mention is the chase songs, uh, we get, uh, the one in this one right before the reveal of the snow creature, um, and, uh, yeah, uh, the song's called Rad Rad World. Um, yeah, it was pretty rad, I guess. Um, yeah, it, it wasn't bad. I mean, definitely 
quite an average one in this show because there are so many banger songs in this um, uh, se- season, um, series, and yeah, compared to all the other ones, it wasn't great, but it's all right, you know, it it wasn't bad. Um, you know, the Rad Rad World um, bit in uh, the song, I guess, was definitely the best part. Um, the person who did sing it rambled on for like 30 seconds, though, um, but it was all just the snow creature chasing Shaggy and Scooby as well. I do like a little bit more exciting chase scenes um, in the... Uh, the um, and the uh, chase songs. Um, but, uh, yeah, again, it, the chase songs are ridiculously good in what's new Scooby-Doo. Um, but, uh, yeah, this one happened right before the reveal. Then, you know, they figure out the snow creature is, you know, mechanical. That's why it could move like an actual creature and sounded and acted like an actual creature. It was remote control and Velma pulled out like the control chip. Um, and then they spotted the mystery sneak. Um, who was up at the uh, the abandoned ski lodge, um, and uh, yeah, he was um, uh, y- you know he was the one controlling the creature, and uh, they unmask him. It turns out to be Avalanche Anderson, um, the first culprit unmasked in What's New Scooby Doo. Now Avalanche Anderson wanted you know to be like a really he wanted to basically win the uh, million dollars. Basically, he was taking out all the. Uh, the, the snowboarding, um, uh, snowboarders and taking out the competition, you know, pretty, pretty, uh, obvious, pretty generic plan. Um, and like injuring them all, he even faked his own injury to throw off suspicion. Um, and, uh, yeah, yeah, um, he also, you know, he controlled it with like a helmet and like a, um, glove. So, like, you know, it actually moved like an actual creature, uh, which I thought was really, really cool and very, very unique. And then at the end of the episode, uh, Shaggy gets, um, you know, because he was, uh, already entered in the, uh, competition, he, uh, you know, wins the, um, competition, um, as, as, as they always do, really. And, uh, they give him the trophy, but not the million dollars because the millionaire is now broke. Um, quite funny, uh, to end off the episode. So, Mr. Frosty Freezy was a fake after all. He's made entirely of some kind of see-through lucite fashioned to look like ice, even the moving parts. Sure, that's why I couldn't melt him with my dryer. But if he's remote controlled, who's holding the remote? Look, up there. It's that mystery sneak. Just as I suspected all along. Yeah, like me too. But uh, just to compare notes, how'd you know? Stuck in my room watching his old movies, I realized Avalanche must have connections in Hollywood, specifically in the special effects world. And he controlled it with this virtual reality helmet and these gloves. That's why it moved and acted like a real living creature. And all that cell phone interference? It was caused by a powerful remote control amplifier. That's why Avalanche broadcast from the top of the ski jump, because the signal was strongest there. But we, like, saw him wounded by the creature, didn't we? No, we saw him lying in the snow. He told us he was attacked. 
Avalanche was about to make a miraculous recovery. But Avalanche, why? I used to be the best in the world. I wanted that back. And the only thing standing in my way was you. If it weren't for you interloping adolescence... That's meddling, kids. And that gluttonous mutt, I'd be famous again. Oh, you'll be famous all right. With both the authorities and the National Snowboarding Commission. Yeah, so also I wanted to mention uh, we get some pretty cool uh, locations in this one. Obviously set in the snow. Um, you get the uh, like the hotel the gang is staying at, like with the lodge. Um, you get like the ski lift um, seen heaps of times, and uh, yeah, you get uh, the uh, Fyodor's shack. Um, you also get the abandoned ski lodge. Uh, really, really creepy and cool locations. And uh, yeah, I guess I kind of forgot to mention as well. Um, there was like kind of two chase songs in a way. Um, in this one where they put uh, the What's New theme in and uh, obviously Rad Rad World, which is what I mentioned just moments ago. And, um, yeah, during the uh, first uh, little chase scene um, where they played, like, the What's New theme, um, there was, like, you know, the scene with Shaggy uh, skiing, uh, oh, sorry, snowboarding, um, my bad, and uh, you got the snow creature as well. Um, chasing after him, but the snow creature, it was really weird, the animation, it just did not look right, um, I'll see if I can, like, show you, like, a similar picture or something, like, just a picture comparing what he looked like then to what he looked like, say, when the gang, like, first, uh, saw him, it was really, really weird, um, also, he's quite tall, Standing next to the gang as well, like, is it surprised, like, how tall he is? Like, no one's that tall. Like, I kind of feel like that, um, came into, uh, play, um, with the, um, the, the, the plot in the end as well. But yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed my first, uh, reveal, uh, my first, uh, review of, uh, What's New Scooby Doo. I did try. Um, but, uh, yeah, look, um, I'll, I'll, I'll try my best. Uh, th this one could have been a little bit detailed, I guess I'm trying to say. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's an 8 out of 10. It's a pretty solid episode, I want to say, to start off the show. Like, you know, if you want to start off the show really, really good, you know, this is probably uh, a good episode, um, you know, to do so. Like, um, but I could see, like, any other episode in Season 1 really being the opening episode. Like, for instance, it's mean, it's green, is the mystery machine would be an interesting one to open up as a show like this. But uh, whatever, um, I'm rambling. Hopefully you guys enjoyed my review, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Well, no offense, Velma, but you look like you should be knocking down giant bowling pins. <laughs> <laughs>